Hello guys, in this video, we will discuss about consumer groups and why we may need multiple consumer groups for same event up. So again guys, we have this source or publisher which is sending or streaming data to this event up and data from this event up, it's consumed by one or multiple consumer groups. So this is our consumer group 1, this is our consumer group 2. Now actually, behind the scene, we have this receiver application or receiver service and this receiver application is consuming the data from this event up via consumer group okay and as an example of this receiver application it can be say azure function now let's try to understand internal structure of consumer group so internally a consumer group contains consumers so you can see this consumer group it has consumer 1, 2 like this it has total 8 consumers and each of these consumers it will read data from its respective partitions. So say this consumer 1 it is reading data from this partition 1, consumer 2 it will read data from this partition 2 and like that. Now guys uh, we may have multiple consumers which are consuming data from same partition. So that is also possible and I guess we may have at max 5 consumers which can consume data from the same partition. So yeah that is possible but then uh, Microsoft or Azure recommends that we should not do it. With that our system becomes complex and performance may not be great. And now let us try to understand an example why we may have multiple consumer groups which are consuming data from the same event up, okay imagine you are working on an application which manages fire panel iot devices to the cloud and your application it has web app it has mobile app and then some other service say uh, it has that report app or report service as well now what happens is those fire panels they are installed in building or school or hospitals and whenever a smoke is detected or fire is detected then those fire panels they will send notifications or events to the IoT hub via IoT hub those events will be sent to the event hub and now from event hub all your applications that is your web app or mobile app or report service those will consume those events from event hub and the information about the fire or smoke detected it will be displayed in its respective app and now let us create our first consumer group in Azure portal. Now we are in Azure portal and let's open this event of namespace. Now let's go down and open this event hub. And now let's create our first consumer group in this event hub. So I will click on this consumer group and let's give name I'll say first consumer group and let's create now let's go down and we can see two consumer groups first one is default so it was by default created by azure when we created this event up and second one which we just created and now in our next video we will use this consumer group that is first consumer group to read events from this event up in our visual studio c sharp